That is pretty awesome. That is a drone delivery right here in Christiansburg, Virginia. That's not why we're here. Sold this house in Christiansburg. Super fine home, relatively new, like two or three years old. Yet it didn't do so hot on the radon uh, test, but we fixed it and I'll show you how and why. So, new house in my neck of the woods is built with a passive radon system. And what that means is this pipe right here is sealed into the slab of the floor and it is drawing radon out. This pipe is routed up through the house, into the attic, and then up through the roof. And it's a chimney effect, passive system. So what we typically do when these uh, are tested by new homeowners, found to have elevated levels of radon, is we put a fan in the attic to give the system a helping hand. We are activating that passive system. But the radon levels here were particularly high, and they were high because Dun, 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 the sump pit right here. And so I happened to treat the house next door for the exact same thing, knocked it right out. So sump pits, when we encounter them, there are three options. We can ignore them, we can cover them, or we can cover them and draw from them. So we're covering it and drawing from it. So this sump pit now is a crucial part of the radon removal system for this home. You see how it all ties together right there? That's it. Okay, so why do passive radon systems, so many of them fail or, or fail to do what they're supposed to do? It comes down to radon being the newest of the trades uh, as far as the kids on the block, misinformation, disinformation, ignorance, uh, and then sometimes people just blatantly not doing what they're supposed to be doing. At this time, in the area in which I live, a builder is required to install a passive radon system. The end, that's it. There's no testing required. So therefore there's no accountability. So, uh, you know, we can cry about it. We can gripe about it. We can wait till, you know, things finally come around and, and people start implementing. But in the meantime, why don't you just test? You can get test kits at Lowe's, Home Depot. You can order stuff online. That's how you know. Um, you know, it'll eventually come around, and there are areas that have come around, just not in my particular area. That's all. So just go ahead and take the bull by the horns and test it yourself, or or seek testing. It's very inexpensive, in the grand scheme of things. Why wouldn't you test? That's how you'll know. Short and sweet. <laughs> I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, if you did, uh, why don't you smash that like button and consider subscribing to my channel. It means the world to me. Doesn't cost you a dime. Thanks for the business, Chris. You guys have a great day. Bye.